This is the ghost town of Gwalia, which is near Leonora, just out from Kalgoorlie in WA, Western Australia. In 1963, they closed the gold mine that was here and literally everybody just grabbed what they could and took off. So a lot of what you see around the camp today is what they had back in the day and they just left it and gone to Kalgoorlie looking mm. for work. Yeah, sure it's so eerie. And it's remarkably well preserved. I think like the nearby locals are really good in looking after it. But uh, we're going to have a take a look around. And with the ghosts. <laughs> yeah, with the ghosts. This is so cool. I think this um, particular place here used to be like a function house, and they would have like people drinking and and singing and. Maybe this was like a hospital type area. It was sick. Okay. It looks freaky, but it doesn't feel too freaky. Yeah. This is the other room at the front of the place. And you can see outside, that's where the um, piano is. Look at these things that people used to live in. Like, this is all corrugated iron. So there's these holes in it. Like, last night it got windy and it wanted to rain. This place would be so noisy. Look at these old. Old cooking areas that have just been left. Imagine just like coming home one day and saying, the mine is closed, we're going. Take what you can and we're getting out of here. And they've just left stuff. And obviously that you know they don't have a lot of stuff. Oh my god, one more room in here. Oh wow, I didn't see this <laughs> is an old washing machine. Freaky. Really stayed here, had a baby. This one feels a little bit interesting, I think. I'll move out. This looks like an old garage. Look at this. It's so cool. Oh, there's number plates. Okay, this could be a serial killer movie. Mm -hmm. Everybody gets killed gets their number plates put up on the wall. I said that as a joke, but can you imagine if it's true? All I can hear is flies and wind, which makes it quite eerie. It's another Half a number plate. Some sewing machines. Where are there sewing machines in the garage? <gasps> Ooh, maybe that's where they put all the bodies back together, they sop. Look at that. 
I am joking, though, to anybody. Okay, chainsaw. Maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, pareidolia, that looks like a face. Got two eyes and a mouth. house that we were just in just exiting the garage and oh my goodness okay so this view not from Australia this is an outdoor toilet it was common back in the old days and basically all it is is something to sit on and it's just a hole in the ground how cool is this all right let's take a walk up and head to the next place. It's Towns Windmill. I'm going to go and check out that house first. What's this for an old town? Like if I look around in a sweeping shot, this is just everybody's houses that have been abandoned. I hope no one's living in these places. Is from the 60s. Some people have been living in here. I just don't know. The old tins used to twirl open. Oh wow, this is where you cook. And that's why the little um, windows here that I looked in just now as I was walking through because you can actually see um, what you're cooking in the morning when you put your tea on, get your bread on, and feed everyone before they're done for the day. Mind you, they must have been really short because that is so low. All right, we'll head to the next one. This one here doesn't feel too bad, but I don't know. I think, you know, like places leave their, their energy and their vibes when you go through and you, you have a look at things and people, everyone has energy and you leave that energy behind with everything that you touch and and where you live and what you do. This place has energy. Alright, let's go find the next one. This is the house just up the ways from the other one. This door is open. Oh, it's a mirror in here. Of a pillow. Oh, maybe someone had a baby. Oh. It's cold right here. 
Can you feel that? It's like it's as cold as you go here, you can feel it. This is the Major's boarding house. I like that um, the historical museum nearby has actually put up some information to the... Where are you going? Oh. That's so pretty. Have a look at this. Screaming. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at that. I don't think that's from the 60s. That's a tea party. because Mike probably walked past it. <laughs> okay, this, this place has a lot of energy to go to. Wow, okay, this must be a fancy house because that's a decent sized kitchen. And look at that, there's a fridge. There's no wind. How did that door just close? Mike was in, um, in case you just saw Mike come through, Mike was actually in that room. And then when I came out to see what was going on, he came out of that room to see what was going on. Um, and then realized that he was in the shot, so he like went back, but it was not us. It's so I can feel. This has energy. slam shut because I've just opened it and it's not moving. I don't know. I'm telling you, this, this one has energy. I could feel it when I walked in. It felt like it, there was this great big chill just as I walked in there. And this is adjacent to the one I also felt the chill in. That's... I don't know. What's this room? Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Look at this. More sewing. Heaps of sewing. That's cool. And then this would be the bathroom. Okay. Okay. More paper. And then are these sort of like big covers? My parents used to have something like that when we were growing up in Malaysia. Oh. There's things in there. She looks kind of new. The, the little bit of wind there is coming. It's coming 
through the door, not, not that way. So how did that door close that way? And slam. And slam. <laughs> Can you push it from here? Like if you were standing right. That's what I'm trying to see. Yeah. If you pushed it. Okay. If Mike had pushed it and, and stepped back into that room, I would have heard it. You can hear. Move a bit. Let's hear how much noise it Creaky. makes. Oh, yeah. It's so creaky in here. So if you had closed that and then um, hit back into this room quickly, I would have heard him. Did you close it behind you at all? A little bit? Never. Never close it behind you. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's so cool, <laughs> so we're just walking across the road to the... This is like the Patronus guest room. Can't enter that way. This is a big grid. No entry sign, so we'll just go in this way. That doesn't say no entry. I am kidding. I'm not trespassing. It's open. So we did. We came and had a look at this place yesterday. We closed the door behind us. This is the one where I thought people were living in here. I thought so. Oh, I thought it was a towel, it's a blanket. Get on my hand, please. Maybe he doesn't want me in there. Mike? So I just walked out of that door in case you thought it was wind and we also saw how Mike was in front of me and it stayed open. That's weird. Wide open and yet after Mike walked in it closed and we saw he was standing over there so Seriously, are people living here? Okay, I thought the last kitchen was big and fancy. I mean, obviously this is a guest home, but <laughs> there's two stoves side by side. That is pretty cool. There's nothing in here. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe they left in the afternoon in a hurry. You know, they might have been already like setting up for dinner. And they've just left. You know, if you go to a guest house and you come here and you collect all your, your utensils and your cups and then you sit down over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Get to sit down over here or over here and have your dinner. That's been cooked in this actually huge kitchen. I mean, seriously, this is the size of the living room. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> so these were the guest houses where people stayed. 
It is tiny. I'm gonna walk back over and have a look at the rest of this little ghost town. I was going through the ground. <clears throat> oh, that was weird. What? Um, just as I was doing that, and I was like, "Be careful!" My phone just yeah. just lost all its connection for a sec. Over there, that's like a trap door. You would have gone in there and looked at it. Oh my goodness! Oh, for sure. That's what we're going to go with. There's a sweater here. Oh, he's probably opened it, taken his stuff out, and then just like left the house. Left his hat. Considering the amount of times I use this, the only two times it's ever lost it and had its sink go weird with the gimbal is just then and at that haunted place in Penang we went to, the 99 Doors Mansion. Town. All the bits and pieces have just been left. I'm really impressed that none of it's been taken. Oh, yeah, that's just like a little bit weird. So there's a like little, oh, let's that's, that's call that. <laughs> let's call that here a little sacrificial pit. <laughs> Got a bed that's connected with razor wires next to this tree offering light. If you look over there, that's the old um, look in the local pub back in the day, and it's closed now obviously and you can't go into it unfortunately but apparently that was their first government owned local pub really interesting because my phone will not focus. Look at this. My phone won't focus. That is weird. Well, this is people kicking the wall. Yeah. So what you can't see here for some reason is that these are all footprints of people kicking the wall. My phone won't focus in here, which is odd. <coughs> I think it's a new one. 
Oh, this happened again. Okay. It just went out of... The whole thing just like that. Okay. That's... Just go out here. 